One morning I went to the gym and I did a 10 minute warm up and I couldn't make it. I was dizzy and I was out of breath. And so I quit and went home. And the next day I went over to Brown County State Park to go for my usual walk. And I made about half an hour and I was dizzy and out of breath. So I got to the point where I couldn't climb a flight of stairs without having to rest a couple of times and catch my breath. Natalie came to us with a problem that we commonly see, which is a severe leakage of her mitral valve. She also had significant leakage of two other valves that were repaired. So she had a triple valve repair. We came to St. Francis on the recommendation of the cardiologist in Columbus because he knew that Dr. Gerdish specializes in repairing rather than replacing valves if possible. In the context of what mitral valve disease is and what valvular heart surgery is, she's a relatively complex case. Uh, fortunately, Natalie was otherwise a healthy person, which of course helps in the recovery uh, and makes the, the challenges of having heart surgery um, less to deal with. My expectations for St. Francis, once I met with Dr. Gerdish before the surgery, was that everything was going to be fine and it was going to be a good experience and I was going to have a good recovery, and that's what happened. Natalie came to us uh, as a referral from one of her local physicians. She had a history of a leaking mitral valve, that, that's what she knew uh, from the preceding few years. And during that same time, she had developed atrial fibrillation or an irregular heart rhythm uh, due to disorganized electrical activity in the upper chamber of the heart. We also found that in addition to the valve and the atrial fibrillation, she had uh, marked enlargement, uh, tremendous enlargement actually, of the upper chambers of the heart. Also, we found on her echocardiogram that she had a, another valve that was leaking fairly badly. And Natalie came to us with this complex of issues, uh, uh, a complex of complex valve disease. And Dr. Gerdish used extracellular matrix to repair my aortic valve. Extracellular matrix is uh, tissue without the cells, basically. We were the first in the world to use it inside of the heart to reconstruct parts of the heart. And this was uh, an important step forward for us because up until now, we've been very limited with respect to the materials we could use inside the heart. While I was in the hospital, I had the very best care as far as nursing. The nurses, especially in the intensive care unit, were there for me all the time and ready to help me in any way they could. I had visits from the Indiana Heart physicians, surgeons, and cardiologists every morning and sometimes more than just once a day. And the doctors would always introduce themselves to me. And the lady who cleaned my room would ask if there was anything she could do to help me. Everybody was very helpful. My experience with the hospital staff was excellent. Very, very informative and no, no questions left unanswered. Frankly, I was quite reassured by all of the attention and the expertise. It was a very good experience. Before I had my heart surgery, in the weeks preceding it, I was very concerned that I was going to end up being a feeble old lady who couldn't do anything but sit around. And that's not what I wanted out of my life. I wanted to be able to get out and walk fast and to work out at the gym and, and to do anything that I wanted to do. A little over a year after my surgery, I did uh, the monumental half marathon here in Indianapolis, which St. Francis sponsors, and I felt very good about being able to do that again. We both do endurance sports, and um, we have talked about doing a half marathon or a marathon together. I think she's done four half marathons since her valve operation. I think she's done eight or 10 half marathons since she turned 65. She'll send me a photograph of every time she finishes or send me a letter. And oftentimes when she comes to the office, she'll bring me a finisher's medal. She's a wonderful lady. Natalie uh, went right back to exercising and has been uh, pursuing her ambitions with respect to marathon training and, and uh, power walking and doing marathons. And Natalie's not alone. We have quite a few people who do that. This medal is very important to me because uh, when I finished the half marathon in November of 2010, I got to the finish line 
and a person handed me this medal and put it around my neck and right there to congratulate me was Dr. Shea who was volunteering in the medical tent at the finish line and I thought that was very special to have my cardiologist greet me at the finish line of that half marathon. I'm Natalie's cardiologist. I'm Natalie's friend. We get along great. I love Natalie. Natalie went back to her full life, has uh, beautifully functioning valves, a, a very, very nicely recovered heart, has maintained her rhythm, is very active, uh, exercising all the time, and, uh, and I think that uh, all of us are happy about that. I'm happy to come here and talk about St. Francis because I feel that St. Francis and the care that I got here and the surgery from Dr. Gerdish gave me my life back.